Hey guys, welcome back to Smart Trader. This is Dias Paul. Thank you so much for all your likes, comment, share, and subscribe my channel. And if you are a new viewer, then go to my channel and uh, watch all these videos. And if you're liking these videos, then go hit the subscribe button to be a part of Smart Trader family. For the ones who wants additional services or trainings, you can WhatsApp our team seven eight nine two six five two four eight one is our customer care number. You can WhatsApp them for more details. And for the ones who wants to learn my style of trading and the way I look into the market, and if you want to or want me as your mentor, then you can uh, join my personal training program so that you can WhatsApp our customer care team with the same number and ask them uh, personal training with Dias Paul. <clears throat> and for the ones who wants to be part of my Telegram channel, you can open a DMAT account or in Zeroda or Upstock by clicking the link given in video description and open your DMAT account. and you will be added to my telegram channel for future learning and bonding so uh, today's a live trading session uh, <clears throat> i was not planning to trade today but the stock looked good so then i decided to trade and uh, post that i thought i'll go to gym so before that i saw the trade and i just put a trade and i just waited and the trade had a good volume and there was a good push due to which i could make some big profits So I was I was planning to exit around ten fifteen k profit for the day because considering we booked a huge profit yesterday, so I thought um, you know every day thinking of big profit is not good. So uh, avoiding the greediness, I thought I'll book fifteen k and keep quiet and I won't trade for this week. But considering the situation was very good, the moment was really good. I took advantage of the situation and then I had to take a trade which gave me a good profit and then I had to do a second trade just to overcome little bit brokerage, but overall. a uh, really good trade so hope you'll enjoy the video so uh, currently i'm looking into this particular stocks uh, dlf march futures and jet airways march futures 50 is uh, 0.39 bullish side So we have entered into this particular stock DLF March futures at uh, an average price of two hundred point seven six. I would take a cover order considering the market fluctuations. Uh, if I put bracket order, it will not trigger. It's moving very fast. So I have put a cover order, and it took an average of two hundred point seven six. I know because of the quantity, it will take at a higher price. And same way, when I sell, uh, it will. it will it will need around uh, 23000 quantity to sell also so the stock will come down when i give sell so i will wait so the price has gone up to 202.65 just seeing uh, if i can hit that exit right now or should i wait will it have a chance to break its own high these are the questions right now so this close um to not 2.90 is the resistant right now So it's taking time, and Nifty is in point two eight. So it has come down a bit down. So just seeing if this one. I can sell one of my lot. See, one lot is twenty thousand eight hundred. 
overall I have taken one is at 2600 just waiting I'll wait for some time
so if you see um, after end of the market the stock price closed at 197.25 so we had stopped the trade at 11.22 so the 205.70 is the highest which made when when we exited this was a high so it didn't the stock didn't go after that <clears throat> so the stock uh, came down okay so if you see the stock came down post that so good uh, we escaped uh, after booking our profits and um, i didn't expect i would get so much but uh, yeah i was planning to, as i told uh, i was planning to make only 10 15k profit but uh, the stock was really good and the movement was really good so i hold the stock therefore just in two trades <clears throat> i could make this particular profit brokerage may go up to 2k to 3k or 4k 2k brokerage will go but still round figure if i say at least minimum 1 lakh 10000 will be pending anyways nice profits uh, so thank you so much for watching this video and as i always tell you beginners do not trade with leverage always do paper trading first you learn build your accuracy after building accuracy do cnc cash and carry later when your accuracy is above 90 percent that is when try using leverage so until then don't use because you get trapped and you may lose your money so by saying that sh share this video with all your friends subscribe to the channel hit that like button see you soon in my next video till then take care bye bye